Hello everybody, it's me Mr. Sneaker and it is the episode 2 of Road to Glory. So here we are for the free to play series. Stay tuned for everything that we've gone so far from day 1 all the way up to now day 3 or 4. So we're going to go over everything on the account. Hello, so yes we're going to be going over the account progress so far. As you can see we've pushed all the way when we zoom in actually to city hall 13 so far and that's within three days of progress next episode with a little bit of a spoiler for you guys we did capture a giant behemoth so we've been able to capture that so that is going to be episode three so stay tuned for that guide plus obviously the kill and see how well we did but as you can see we are progressing the account right so i'm going to go over what i've been doing so far as a free-to-play player and showing you guys what you know you should be trying to focus on and obviously you can see what i've been working with right so so far we're gonna go into the heroes because that is everything that everyone wonders right so we was lucky and you can see we've been able to unlock goward and from that other chest we've been able to open we've actually got him to a f level three state so we've not hit any other legendaries so far but the one we do have is actually a phenomenal tank for us because we're allowed to use him now in our dragon trials so as you can see we're already at rank 26 here we're not in the highest of rankings obviously we need to push these now maybe today maybe on stream or something and see how far we can get and get a little bit of extra progress on the account so we've got some nice hero setups as you can see i've got my guan win already at level 23 meaning she's being paired with my craig now Craig's already 5-2 and you can see my Gwen wins already 5-3-1. We're going to try and unlock this next skill as well. Hoping we can get the rolls more on these. But so far in the 50-50 chances we've always been hitting, hitting the, the passive 2 skill. Which is okay. We're going to expertise her anyway over time. But obviously we do prefer having that extra stats on the Gwen win. So as you can see we've got Waldir as well ready at 21. Meaning he can be deputy to Aphius which is what's going to be happening. So now my Aphius is being leveled up nicely and getting all the way up. As you can see he's still one star because we don't have any skills for him so far. But that doesn't matter as long as we can get him leveled up that's good enough for us. And then hopefully maybe later on we unlock some more heroes. You know maybe an Alloween. And then we can pair Alloween with the Wild Deer. And hopefully we get a little bit more luckier with that right. But you can see our gatherers have been going and trucking along. They've been leveling up. They're almost catching up to these guys. But on my side I have been slacking guys. I have been slacking. So as you guys know I do work as well. And obviously in the past three days I've been working. So, so far if you're wondering about how much time I've actually spent on the account. I'm honestly been spending about two to three hours a day maybe. You know I might wake up do the daily stuff, get all the CP emptied, you know, and then once it's emptied, I'll start getting some gathering, help some building, you know, do what I need to do with maybe my buildings, and then go to work, finish work, and then continue, right? So that's what I've been doing so far. So you can see, like, for the amount of time I've been able to put in, we've done some great progress. So hopefully those players that are able to play more often, you know, and you're able to put more hours in as a free to play player, you're going to see more benefits quicker, right? So, as you can see right now, we are pushing to City Hall 14. And in order for us to push all to City Hall 14, we need to do this mana refinery and obviously the wall. So the mana refinery, we are cooking. We've got five minutes to go. We're going to allow this timer. So the way I've been building and the way I've been using my speed ups, guys, I'm going to showcase it in the research one. So you can see we've got about two hours to go. And what I've been trying to do is always reduce the time without using any of these universals because these universal speed ups we've been using only on this city hall we've been trying to minimize their use so when we do need them they're on this building right and what i've always been trying to do like you can see there i've set it to be an hour and 30 from now we can reduce it a little bit longer which is nice so we're going to put it to there so we're not going to waste any of these minutes when there's no need. But we want to keep it within maybe an hour of 15, you know, maybe two hours tops in progress bar. Because if you're able to play for two hours, you're going to finish this tech and then you can start a new tech. So for me, I'm going to start conscription once I've leveled up to the right abilities, right? So maybe I need to go backwards and start upgrading my ranged unit attack. 
since we've already got all the T2 and all these skills here, we will unlock through scouting. So that's why I'm not using any of it. I'm ignoring it as much as possible to get it through my scouting, right? So that's what we've been doing with tech. And like I say, with the buildings, we've been doing the exact same thing. So when it comes to the city hall, when we eventually do get to build it, what we'll do is we'll see how many hours it takes. We'll press the help button and hopefully our allies will press the help button too. And obviously by doing that, it's going to give us that nice reduction on all our stuff we're doing. And then when we get that reduction, then we might, you know, if we're going to work, for example, we might put the city hall to finish within eight hours. Because obviously you have an eight hour work day, maybe, and then you finish work and then the city hall is going to pop as soon as you come up. So then you can obviously start playing and doing things, right? So that's what we've been going so far. As you can see, we've been training. I've been making a big mistake here, which everyone knows about on, on the Discord that I've been talking about. But I'm kind of just pumping through now. I'm kind of just hard committing to it now. But what you guys should be doing as a free-to-player player is crafting tier 1 units. The reason is, as you can see, the time difference is massive. And the reason why is you want to train up tier 1 units for a long time is because when you get your research done correctly, and you can tell it's not that long to get this research done, guys, you're going to get your tier 3 units. And what you do is you research your archers, or if you're a mage player, you're going to research your mages first. And once you research them, you will then go back to this building. You'll go to train, you'll select the tier 1s, and you will upgrade all these tier 1 units all the way into tier 3, right? So you can get a nice amount of power gain by doing that. And it's really cost effective and efficient for a free-to-play player to do. So that's what we've been doing so far. Obviously today we're going to be doing some building and I'm going to be live streaming. So I hope you enjoy the live stream that's going to be on before this video. But this is going to be episode 2 of the Road to Glory series. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Before we go, obviously the artifacts I've been focusing on are on screen now. So I do always believe it's a bit of a weird thing, but I always get my artifacts with gathering speed and even this load capacity, which I'm going to do now on stream when I have some more dust, is actually level all of them to at least 10. Just because when I do level them up to around level 10, what happens is when we go back and it stops bugging out. We're able to actually gain a little bit of gathering speed, but on these more bigger ones, the load capacity bonus, especially on the sickle, which we don't have yet, or the Lucy's horn, which we don't have yet. But once we get those two key gathering artifacts, the load capacity is really important. It allows your gatherers to obviously go out and almost fill a full tile. And by doing that, it's going to give them more XP quicker. And the quicker we can get these guys to level 20 without really pumping any XP into them, the better. Because then we can start leveling up our heroes again behind them when we run out of CP, right? So that's the progress we've done so far. We, we're going back into the artifacts. We've gone into these two because these are the two free-to-play choices. And my bomb flinger really luckily is actually already level 3. So already almost maxed out on it, which is really good for behemoth raiding. So this is what I've been using in my behemoth raids when I need to. And then my heart piercer is what I'm going to be using in the open field combat, right? I'm going to try and kill people with this one, right? We could level it up with the star level if on the bombs of flinger, but we are missing out on some ascension materials right now. So that is going to be my grind today. We're going to be trying and getting some more artifact pieces and artifact materials and getting on with it, right? So that's going to be my game now. My game plan is to keep pushing my city hall, as you can see through here. So we're going to do it right now. That's just got two hours on, so I don't mind really waiting at two hours. So we're going to build this, we're going to finish this and set a new research going. And once we've done hopefully this and this, we're going to start building or finishing this wall to then, you know, go onto the city hall, right? So that's my progress right now, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. You can see we're doing really well with the account already over 500k power. If we go to the alliance menu, we can go and, and check the rankings. You know, rank 39 in a, you know, top 50% again within a, 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 you know, a massive server. So, 
It's really nice to be that in our alliance. If we go, obviously, in the overall rankings, we're not going to be that close at the moment. But we're still in somehow the top 1,000 players, which is, again, for a free-to-play player, a very commendable achievement, especially for someone like myself who hasn't been able to play as much. But if we look at someone else that I know that is in the alliance, so if we go over here, we can look at someone like Aleem or even... Um, He's not even here anymore, but Rev, if he was in this area somewhere. But Aleem and Rev, those guys, again, were free to play. So you can look at Aleem up in the top. And Aleem's nearly 600,000 power. And he's pure free to play. As well as Kisiu is free to play. And I believe one might be free to play as well. So all of us guys here are all free to play. And we're within 500 and 600k of power. So it does show if you're a little bit more active... Even if you're an R4 and you get these extra buffs to help you, you know, speed up a little bit extra, it does help you massively, right? I've only been R4 just for the giant bear raid, guys, so don't get ahead of yourselves. I'm getting an advantage because I'm not. Um, but that is it. That's going to be the Road to Glory Episode 2. That is everything that we've got so far. I hope you've enjoyed the progress of the account. Obviously, I'm going to be live streaming today when this is going to have been uploaded for. So I hope you enjoy the live stream that might be going on right now as this is going on, right? So, smash a like, comment, and subscribe for the channel. It is going to be a free-to-play series that you're watching right now. But the channel is our end game on a low spender account. It is also a beta tester. You know, we do daily Call of Dragons videos. This is guides, war commentary, everything to do with Call of Dragons. So if you want anything and all, you know, anything or, or everything that is Call of Dragons, smash a like, comment, and subscribe. Support me, Mr. Sneaky, and until the next video, guys, stay safe, stay sneaky, peace out.